Dear students, I hope you have been enjoying the modules and you have been typing the code in MySQL, running the code, looking at the results and repeating it because that's how you're going to learn. So in this module, I'll talk about the aliases and other useful features of MySQL, which are the MySQL operators. So why we look at the aliases, the reason being that when we have a lot of tables and we are referring to those tables, it becomes very complicated and very complex. So we need to simplify all those things. So that is why we will use the aliases. And of course, I will also talk about and show you some of the SQL, MySQL operators. So let's go ahead. So why do we use or why do we need the aliases? As you start to work with many tables, things can start to go unwieldy. For example, in the preceding section, you use this query to retrieve a list of names of members who have accessed the website. And there's a lot of repetition of the table names, access log and members in this query. Okay. You can see over here, we have a lot of repetition over here. We have, uh, so that becomes very complicated. Okay. In the, I am talking about this query over here. So we have members, then members, then again members, again members. So it's very, it gets very complex. Fortunately, SQL lets you create short table aliases by specifying an alias after each table name in the from clause. You can then use these aliases to refer to the tables rather than using the full table names in each case. So over here, I have these aliases. Over here, I have these aliases. Okay. So that makes the life rather simple and straightforward and then we are getting the answers which we are looking for so the alias is going to help us now let's look more about aliases uh, notice in this case the second column in the result is called count and page url over here not only is this not very descriptive but you'll find it awkward to refer in your php script Therefore, it's a good idea to rename this column to something more meaningful. Okay. So we have, you can see the results are same. They are same over here. But we have over here URLs viewed using the as. So we use this alias over here. This makes things simple. Other MySQL operators, MySQL contains a wealth of operators and functions that you can use to build more complex queries. Okay, you have already used some of them in the prior modules. Here we explore some other common operators and functions. Of course, this is over here, but this is a non-exhaustive list. There are more. Much like PHP, MySQL features various comparison operators that you can use to compare column values and other expressions in your queries. By using null safe operator, okay, null safe operator, you ensure that any null value is not propagated through the result. Okay, we are using it over here, using it over here, and using it over here. Other MySQL operators, you can also use the Boolean operator and or and not to build more complex expressions. Okay, more complex expression can be built. MySQL functions can be broken down into many categories. For example, there are many date and time functions such as now. Okay. And then is that retrieves the current date and time. Now, current date, current time. And okay, you can also use current date to retrieve just the date portion of now and current time to get just the time portion. Here are the results. So you see, lot can be achieved using the MySQL operators. And that's all I have for this module.